So when I, when I started to write Maps of Meaning, I thought, okay, what's the situation? This is the Cold War. We've divided into two armed tribal camps. Settling the difference between us is worth risking being itself. We could, we could drive everything into extinction. We're willing to take that chance. What the hell is going on? Because that just seemed to me to be insanity. So I wanted to know that. And I wanted to know, okay, having figured out why that's happening, what could be done about it so it would stop? I actually wanted the answer. It was just that writing a book was the best way to figure out the problem. But you can only remember so much. You have to write it down because right. then you can remember way more and see if there's anything about it that's weak. And then I started lecturing about it. And the lectures were always unbelievably well regarded. Like people, the kids in the classes would always write for the evaluations at the end of the year. 80% of them would say, say, this class changed everything about the way I look at the world. It's like, yeah, that's what happened to me too when I wrote that book. It's like, I didn't think the same way at all when I was done.